Come along Duck Buddies today and we take a gander at the United States Post Office here in Yelm, Washington. All right, duck buddies, we're going to go take a gander inside. <clears throat> there we go. Um, yeah, I'm just doing a little story about the uh, post office. What is that thing you got? It's a camcorder. Oh, is that what it is? Yep. Damn, that's a neat little thing. Huh? I know, right? Yeah. It does really good 1080p, has yeah. decent sound quality, and good for the price. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I mean, you're famous. <laughs> <laughs> Cannot videotape in a federal building. It's against the law. Um, is this not a public area lobby? It's a federal building. This is building. a federal building. You cannot videotape in a federal building. You need to shut it off. Um, according to the USPS Postal Service regulations, you I can film in off, this area. I am you allowed to film. You do not have my permission to videotape me. Well, I'm sorry. Who am I talking to? You do not have my permission to videotape me. Mm -hmm. Thank you. You need to turn it off. You do not have my permission to be doing that. Well, I'm sorry, but I'm in a post office, a public place. It is a federal building. It is against the law. To According to your own regulations here yes, at the U.S. Postal Service, yes, you're allowed to film nope. in the public areas. Nope. Yes, you are. Can you point out the regulation saying that I can't? I do not have to do that, but I can call 911. Okay. Come on. Are you in line? Oh, no, I'm not in line. I, I just do. have a question to ask. I was me. just coming in to check out the post office, like I'm allowed to. Oh, here. Excuse me. Yeah, sorry about sorry. that. I was just getting the times. My mind is not where it should be. <laughs> Let's see if they have their poster seven up.
Like they've got an area over there for you to drive through to drop your mail off over at the mailboxes over there. And since the police are coming, I shall light up a cigarette. Oh, go, go ahead, go ahead. See if I can get the pickup times. It says one PM Monday through Friday. Not even in uniform? Are you serious? Not even in uniform? You're representing the United States Postal Service, lady. public easement as you can tell you have to walk this far
ask you to leave? Um, I was never asked to leave. That's what they're telling me. They asked you to stop filming and they wanted to trespass you. Well, they said I couldn't film, but they never asked me to leave. Okay, and well, I they they want to trespass camera. you at this time. They don't want you to come back here. They don't want you on their property. I was never asked to leave, but I will leave now. Okay, so I'm going to need you very much. ID from you, though. So I can um, trespass one. you. So I can trespass you. I need to know who you are, and they need to know who you are. So they Trespassing can their... warrants knowingly entering a place that I know that I cannot go right. and We're remaining We're going to fill there. out some paperwork saying that you're trespassed, though, and I need to have your information so they can keep that on record so they know that you're not allowed to come back here again. But this is a public area. I'm allowed to film in the area that I was filming in according to the not, U.S. Postal have, Regulations. You don't have the right to disrupt business is what you were I doing. wasn't disrupting business. According to them, you were. I wasn't, okay. and I have it all on camera. Okay, well... Officer, at, at, Taylor. Officer Taylor. So at this point, I need some ID from you, okay? Um, I have not committed a crime. You have not at this point, but you're being trespassed. So you, you have told me I'm not committing a crime, therefore I do not have to identify myself according to Washington State law. For me to State trespass law. you, yes, I, I have to have ID. I need to know who you First, are. First, I have to be asked to leave, and then okay. I have to knowingly remain on the property in order to be trespassed. I was okay. never asked to leave. Okay. Well, I they're was telling, being asked they're right telling now by different. you to leave, They're telling me. so different. I will leave. They're telling me different. Well, I'm sorry, but it's one person's word against the other, and I have unobjective video evidence right here. Okay. So is there a reason why you don't want to identify yourself? I do not have to. Well, you do I have not point. committed a crime. Okay. You well, just told me I had right not now. committed a crime. You're trespassing. I'm interacting with a public official who is telling me to leave, and I have not said I wouldn't leave. Okay. Well, they asked you, according, according to my call, they asked you to leave and stop filming, and you have left. They just said that I couldn't film, okay. and I asked them to point out the regulation saying that I couldn't film because I know for a fact that you can film in public lobbies in U.S. Postal Service locations. Okay. And I know for a fact in the state of Washington, according to RCW 66.04.010, I think that's 010, that it is considered a public space where I'm at right now. And you are asking me to leave, and I have not refused to leave, okay. so I'm well, going to Well, according to them, leave. they told me that they asked you to leave and to stop filming, and you're They still only on the asked me here. to stop filming. They said I couldn't film in a federal facility even though their rules for this U.S. Postal Office says that I can film in the public lobbies and foyers. Okay. And I never said I wouldn't leave. I never said that... Uh, oh, look, another cop. Yeah. But I have never committed a crime here. I haven't... Okay. You just well, told they, me I had not committed you, a crime. If they ask you to leave and you're still on the property, you are committing a crime. They did not ask me to leave. Well, that's leave. what they're telling me, okay? Well, they so. lied and made a false repeat, false report. Well, how do I know? At this point, I need how to go talk to How do you know I'm them. lying? Well, you haven't been terribly cooperative with me to begin with. Well, I don't have to identify myself if I'm not committing a crime. Okay, well, you're being trespassed, so you do need to identify yourself. How am I being trespassed if I We're did gonna not We're going to fill out some paperwork today saying that, that you're trespassed me. from this facility because the uh, manager here wants you trespassed. Um, I was never asked to leave. I will willingly leave right now, okay. but, All right, but um, I, still I need, need I'm doing, to be I'm gonna do trespass convicted of a on crime. You, so. An actual crime. Well, I don't commit. I don't convict anybody of a crime. Well, I need to be. That's like, the courts. That's the courts. You need uh, reasonable, doing. articulable suspicion that I have committed a crime in order to identify me, and you have not given me that. Okay. Well, if they tell me they ask you to leave and you're still on the property, you're now committing a crime. Well, I'm leaving now. I'm but interacting it with the public leave, official right leave. now. I show up here. You're still here. You're they did not a crime. ask me to leave. They're telling me otherwise. So you are going off of word alone and not actual like evidence. Uh, you're still on the property. Well, I am talking to you. I would willingly walk over to the exit right now. Hello, Officer Hi, how are you? Rampa. Uh -huh. Okay. And Officer Taylor, I will willingly leave now. Okay. But you, you see, understand what I'm trying to do. They're, they want yeah, to trespass you. Yeah, you're trying to get me to admit to a crime that no, I have I'm, not I'm trying to identify you so we can fill out trespass paperwork today. Well, I have not been asked to leave by any employee But according employee to here. them, they have asked you to leave. Well, according to me, they didn't ask me to leave, okay. and well, I have been this time, I'm just going to detain you, okay? So For give this, crime? go ahead. What? For, For trespassing at this point, until I talk um, to them. You, you are not allowed to, to stop you can give my, this to my partner. video recording. You can give this to my partner. There we go. Um, Put your hand behind you. your back. I have not committed a crime. Can you tell me what crime I have committed? We've already talked about that. In right order now you're to be just being detained. You're not under arrest. You're being in order detained. to be for what crime? What for are trespassing? How did I commit trespass if they I was you, not asked they to They asked you to stop filming and they asked you to leave. And you're um, still no, they didn't. On the property and you're, and you're claiming that without. Okay. Do you have any weapons on you? Hell no. No. Okay. Where do I have my ID on me? Okay. What's your name? 
Um, first, I need to know why I'm being paid. I've told you that like three or four times already. You are claiming that I've been Okay, well, let, let me, I'm going to have you have a seat in my vehicle, and then um, I'm going to go in there and talk to them, okay? You are not to stop that in the vehicle or alter it in any way. Have a seat there for me. I have not consent to search and seizure. I have not committed any crime. And you have yet to let me know what crime I have actually committed. I've told you three or four times now. You're just not listening. I was not asked to leave. And you well, are they're, they're, telling, they're telling me that you were. Well, I'm telling you I wasn't. Okay. Well, let me video. let me go in there and figure it out. Be on but still, too. but still, even if uh, even if you were, I'm allowed to film. Well, they're they're also Okay, well, let me go in and check on that, okay? So, now he's stopping my video recording. So, we got a call that she was in here filming. They asked her to leave uh, uh, the So, uh, so what are the guidelines? Not a problem. Well, I got to come in anyways, okay? So, I'll wait here. All right, thank you. Not being harassed by the cops for filming in a public place, but I'm allowed to film it. Well, you're 
I can show the public lobby of the foyers of the United States Postal Service as per their own seven regulations. Well, you are, I'm not trying to be arrested. I have not committed any crime. And I'd like to get my camera to the service to all the turned off. Can I do that at this point? I don't need the paper. I would like my camera. Video cable to the rack. You grab your arm. Okay, Officer Taylor. T A Y L O R. You infringed upon my right to okay, you need to leave gather the information. You to leave, okay? I am leaving. You need to leave right I'm now. I'm leaving. Okay, leave. Bye, sir. Bye. And you two can go fuck yourselves. I hope you get killed in the line of duty today, motherfuckers. That was very nice. Thank you. What? What did I just say? No, that was definitely uncalled for. I have to say this right now. That was uncalled for. I'm calling myself on that. Nobody should ever say that to another human being, regardless of the situation. And fuck you! You fucking cunt! Breaking the fucking law! You fucking cunt! He had fringed upon my First Amendment right. They refused to watch my video evidence. They only took her word and they refused to acknowledge the fact that I had fucking done something legal. She said that she told me to leave, but the video evidence proves otherwise. I am on the public easement. You can clearly see that I have not gone onto the fucking property. I am standing right here.
That's a public utility. See this public utility right here, this lamp post? That is a public utility. That means that there is a easement for public access. Same here with this buried cable box thing. And this utility thing right here. I wonder if I go to that place, if that fuck will try to arrest me for trespassing because that is a public utility. Notice they did not get my identification either. because I did not commit a crime. They could not get my ID because I did not commit a fucking crime. I'm gonna try walking to this public utility. See it right here, walking to this public utility.
Let me step over a foot just to make sure. This officer refused to acknowledge video evidence or even look at it, video and audio evidence of this interaction in there. He just went off of what somebody said. Now, that means that I could call the police station and claim that somebody had a gun when they didn't and I wouldn't get in trouble, right? yell where evidence doesn't matter and word alone can get the police to harass you and they don't care clearly as you saw in today's video the police officers here just do not care just gonna sit there Bye, you're dismissed. Bye. You failed. driving way down there. All right, duck buddies, here we are at the public safety building in the city of Yelm once again to do some public requests, public records requests. We'll return at 1.10. Public disclosure request. Okay, I'm going to need a couple of these. Okay, let me just set all these out real quick.
Hello again. Hi. Um, so I don't know a case number or whatever case number was possibly um, put to this because um, I don't think there was an actual case. But there was an incident with me and Officer Taylor and Officer Rampa yesterday at the post office. And I am making a public records request. And I, I just want to make sure I filled that out right. I don't want to, like, do any misinformation. And it is okay I'm, that I wrote out this statement for the public records request here so I can turn in with that. Yeah. And I also have a couple of letters I'd like to be passed off to the officers themselves, just one for each of them, apologizing for what I said to them yesterday because I was kind of rude after they let me go. And I just wanted to apologize for that. Okay, there was no case number. There was just the 911 call is on. Well, I know that the post office employee wrote out a statement for Officer Taylor, who then accepted it, and I have that on video as well. So I'd like to get a copy of that. Yeah, you're not, um, you wouldn't get a copy of her statement. Okay, then I need to know how to go about reporting a file or a false police report because she filed a false police report. Okay, so her statement was let me false. find a supervisor to come out and talk to you, okay? Okay. So there was no incident actually reported or anything to Just your database? The call, the nine one one call was all. My name is Amy. And her name is Amy. And it's not a complaint, it's a public records request. She did. Mm -hmm. Well, she said that the officers took a report at the Yelm Post Office because she was called in for trespassing there. And um, she said the employee at the post office wrote out a statement to Officer Taylor, but I don't have that statement. There's no case number assigned to the call. Correct. So she wants to talk about that because she wants a copy of the statement, which I told her she couldn't get. So. Okay, um, Sergeant Wood will be out to talk to you in just shortly. All right, do you know how long? Do I have enough time no, to go out for a smoke? Or? <laughs> Pardon me? Yeah, sure. Okay. Um, he's in the building. He'll be right out. Oh, okay. Also, I'd like to make sure that these letters get to Officer Taylor and Officer Rampa. I was kind of rude after our encounter yesterday, and I wanted them to know that I not now nor do I ever wish harm to come upon them while they're on the line of duty. Okay, well, I'll put them in their boxes. All right, thank All you right. very much. Um, so my public records request for any, um, so, there's also, I asked for any, um, dispatch calls made in between the time of 11 a.m. and 2 p.m. Right. for yesterday. Right, so what you can do, we have a form for your records request that you can fill out. The public disclosure request that gives no 
place for that? I asked you a little bit ago if this would be acceptable, and he said yes. Okay, I'll take it. Okay. I mean, I, I just figure, why waste another piece of paper? Yeah, that's right. You're right. Okay, I'll take it. All right. We have up to five business days for processing, so All right. check back. After that. All right, thank you very much. Hello. Are you Amy? Yes, I'm Amy. Hi, I'm Officer, Officer Wood. Officer Wood, thank yep. you very much. You're, you I'm going to step back here. I'm okay. going to set this here if that's okay. You bet. Um, I was involved in an incident yesterday with Officer Rampa and Officer Taylor over at the post service here. Here, I'll take my eyes off my okay. glass phone. Um, and while we were there, he um, he got a statement from the post worker, the postal worker, saying that I had been asked to leave when I was never asked to leave. Okay. I have video evidence and I reviewed the footage and I was never asked to leave. Okay. And um, asked to leave by who? By the postal employee. Oh, okay. And um, as I was standing out there after our encounter, um, I saw him walk up and get a statement from her okay. on a piece of paper. And I was just wondering if, uh, since I know I can't get that now since I've asked, um, what are the charges for someone who files a false statement to police officers? Because she kept claiming that she told me to leave when video what? evidence... That may be something you want to take up with the post office. I'm not allowed to go back there because if I go back there, I'll be trespassed. trespassed. Okay. Well, maybe you should call and talk to the supervisor in charge there if you have issue with the post office. Okay. I, I can tell you I, I approved reports last night and this morning, and I don't have a report on what you're talking about. Okay. Or a statement. You said that some statement was given. Well, he, well, yes, I after because I was if he had a statement, he'd have to draw a case number to write a report, and then that report would include that statement. But there's no report. Well, I so saw if there was a, if there was a statement, statement given, then the statement's probably still with the post office. Okay. Okay. That's um, I'm only guessing. I wasn't there, ma'am. So. Okay. No, I I understand you weren't there, and I understand you're trying to help me, and I'm. Yep. I'm, not the best at talking to other people, so I appreciate your... So, were you sure it was a statement or was it a trespass letter? Um, I didn't know that there would be a difference. Is there a difference for a trespass Sure. Letter? So, I can give you an example. So, if somebody is uh, not wanted at Safeway, for example, um, and for whatever reason, management has decided that they don't want this person in their business, so they can give, what's, give us what's called a trespass letter. And then we serve the trespass letter on the person they want trespassed. And if they don't want to accept it, we tell them that they're trespassed. And then that's just a letter, though. Okay. And I I'm just asking. I wasn't there, so I don't know. If, I okay. don't know. Um, also, I'd like to um, request, as in my statement, for um, any dash cam footage. Do you all wear body cam or dash cam? No, ma'am. Okay, you don't? Nope. Okay, well, then I'm glad I recorded because mine is objective or you know unbiased okay um and also i'd like to get a couple complaint forms to file on them because they violated my first amendment right to film our interaction after releasing me they refused to let me grab my camera off the hood of his truck for about five minutes and his reasoning was until i'm done talking okay well, i can give you a form you bet okay okay Officer Rompo, though, he was very polite to me, and I did write them both letters because I said something that was really unsavory as I left, you know, because I was pretty upset after being put in the car with no open window or fan for 20 minutes. And um, I, I told them that I hope they got shot, and I apologized for that. And I wrote them a letter. I hope they get it. I hope you see that they get it. Um, you told them you hoped that the officers got shot? Yeah, I was pretty pissed. I was pretty upset. That's kind of a... I know it was pretty rude. In this and day and age... Moment. Well, you know, in this day and age, I shouldn't be threatened with trespass after he told me that I didn't commit a crime or anything, and I shouldn't be, you know, threatened with trespass. I, for I wasn't there, so I, I don't know what the trespass was all about. But. Okay, well... Um, but I'll get you those forms you're asking for, you bet. So there was no report filed about it at nope. all by the officer? Nope. Uh, no incident filing or anything? Nope. Okay. Not that I approved yesterday. Okay, okay. Mm. Thank you very much. Um, yep. That's what I needed to know, as I'm going to be possibly pursuing legal counsel here in the short future. Sure. All right. Thank you very much. Okay, you're welcome. Right. Okay. You all, all right, have a take care. Rest of your day. Okay. And I'll be back shortly.
All right, here's the complaint form. Okay. All right, and does that will go in his actual file at some point, right? It's reviewed by a sergeant, and then I'm not sure what they, I'm sure that they file them somewhere, but I don't know okay. what file they file them in. Because I'm going to come back in the future. Oh, I didn't know that there was a backside to it. This is for the city. Oh, okay, okay. Um, I, yeah, because I will be coming back soon to request an actual copy from his file kind of thing to verify that, is, that something has happened. Okay. All right. Give it to the appropriate person. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you for being professional and courteous today. We try. We do our best. I know. I know. Thank you very Thank much. You.